Hey everybody, and welcome to part 4 of how to record video game footage with live commentary. In the last parts, we discussed the equipment, the setup, and how to record. And in this part, I'll be showing you how you can edit everything together as one file. So, the first thing we want to do is we want to open uh, Windows Movie Maker. If for whatever reason your movie maker doesn't look like this you probably have Windows Live Movie Maker which with my experience is much more difficult to use than the regular Windows Movie Maker but do not fear um, there is a way you can get this movie maker and I'll include a link in the description to where you can download this it's completely free and any any editing software will work just fine okay now the first thing we want to do is come down to the very bottom and make sure that it's set to your timeline it should look just like this whenever you're looking at it if it looks like this then you want to click on this part right here that says show timeline so make sure that it is set to the timeline right here Next, you want to determine whether or not you are recording in widescreen or not. If you are recording in widescreen, you'll have to come up to Tools at the very top, go to Tools, scroll down to Options, and on this tab, make sure it's on the Advanced tab, right here, your aspect ratio needs to be 16 by 9. If you aren't recording it as widescreen format, you need to make sure your aspect ratio is 4x3. If this is just a regular TV setting that you're using, use 4x3. Widescreen is 16x9. So click OK. Once we did that, everything is set up that we need to use, and now we just need to import our video footage and audio footage. So. The easy, the easy way to do that is to simply go to your video, which I had saved, let's play Super Mario World Part 2. Click it and drag it into this white field right here. It'll take just a second and it'll show up right here. And we want to bring in our audio, which is right here. So click it and drag it to the same field it'll take just a second and there it is now we want to take our video drag it into your video timeline slot and something I always do this is optional if you want to do it or not but I always do this right here it should be like this it'll just have your video track and then your audio and music track down here below it. I always expand this so that it shows your video and the video's audio as well. That way I can see all the little wavelengths that show up down here for syncing purposes. So I always just make sure that I open up this little window right here. And the next thing we want to do is click on our audio and drag that down to the timeline as well. Unfortunately, because of the setup that I have, you are unable to see the video right here in your main video window that I have. Now, remember those audio and visual cues that I told you about in the last video? This is where they will come into play. The first thing we want to do is zoom in quite a bit that way we can see the wavelengths a little bit. Either we want to find out where the starting point in the video is or the starting point in the audio. So let us go ahead and find the sync point in the audio first. So let us find where I did my introduction. I know it was a minute or so into it. So let me zoom out a little. Alright, I found it. It was roughly 13 minutes into the audio that I had. So let us play just a little bit. Find roughly 
right where it starts. Hey everybody, this is Doggy080. There we go. Alright. So we want to home into that location. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Up oh, too much. Alright. And I think it is this wavelength right here is where I start. Hey Yep, that's it. So we want to come right before that wavelength and we want to cut the clip in half. And the way we do that is we come over here to the, it says split this into two clips. So you do that and everything to the left of it you want to delete. Which it should just be one one audio clip to the left of it. So just go ahead and click on there and press delete. And then I'll delete everything before that. And let me zoom out. And then drag this, click and drag the rest of this audio file all the way to the left, to right here. And now we want to find the sync point with our video file. So, let us, we're going to be looking up on the top right, which you currently can't see, but I'll go ahead and do all of this in, um, Movie Maker, but I'll go ahead and show you what it's looking, what it's like down here. So, as you're clicking, I unpause it right, right around here. That was my dog barking. There it is. I unpause it right there. So I want to click this right here. This is the next frame button. Click it, click it. Let me zoom in a little bit. My dog barking again. Uh, ah, there it was. I missed it. Right here. So we want to cut this clip right here. And then delete everything to the left of it and then the video will automatically move as far left as you can and this will sync your video up at one point